Good evening, and thank you for joining me once again for this uh, this uh, time of Compline, this very this very ancient uh, order uh, service that we have um, the of the offices. This is the late night office. That's what it's called. And um, I think last Thursday when we were together, I think I chatted a little bit too much at the start, so I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm just going to let us rest in these uh, prayerful words. I'm Reverend Dr. Gail Marie Henderson. I am the incumbent of the Anglican Parish of Muskoka Lakes, and I am also on faculty at Thornlow University. I have been um, an associate at the Sisters of St. John the Divine um, Convent in, uh, in Toronto for over 30 years and that is a, a contemplative uh, con convent and I think it's probably my uh, foundations there that have um, made these offices so uh, thank you so uh, important to me we are under a lot of the restrictions um, because of COVID-19 and somehow when I come into my study and I sh shut the door and bring out something very steadfast, I just feel like I'm in a little cocoon. And uh, sometimes it feels a little bit indulgent to uh, to have that because many people don't have it. And uh, But anyway, so... Um, we're going to start on page 722 of the Book of Common Prayer, and if you uh, you can go, you can turn to Anglican.ca, and you can find uh, um, under liturgical resources uh, the same uh, the same text. And I, like I said, I always I always um, try to encourage you. You don't have to follow the words. You you can just relax and let the words flow over you. This is about prayer. This is not about reading. It's about uh, a prayerful kind of reading. And um, so anyway, I, uh, I invite you to just, just join me and relax and uh, know that God is good. And so we begin this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, Creator, Redeemer, and our sanctifier. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And the psalm for tonight, so we're going to use Psalm 134, and it will be in the traditional language, and it's found on page 504 if you want to uh, follow along. It's very short. It's only four. Uh, it's only four uh, verses, and it starts with the uh, the most beautiful and all-encompassing word. Behold, now, praise the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. The Lord hath made heaven and earth. Give them blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. That is called the Gloria 
poetry and it uh, it's a doxology it really echoes that uh, that psalm that calls for praise praise even even in the midst of circumstances that are so um, challenging any anything that is challenging when we praise then we're acknowledging that that God is greater um, than that which creates the upset in our days and uh, I find that very strengthening and a word from Jeremiah thou O Lord art in the midst of us and we are called by thy name leave us not O Lord our God and from Matthew Matthew's gospel come unto me said Jesus all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light thanks be to God into thy hands O Lord I commend my spirit into thy hands O Lord I commend my spirit for thou hast redeemed me O Lord thou God of truth I commend my spirit and glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost into thy hands O Lord, I commend my spirit. It's that giving over, the letting go. And this is again a very ancient uh, hymn. It's in our hymn book number uh, 26, but I'm just going to read it like a, like a poem. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with thy wanton favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us, keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And the Nuck Demitus. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. On the words that Jesus taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I think during this Easter season, it's uh, that petition, that seeking, that longing, deliver us from evil. I think that is answered on the cross and uh, the Good Friday cross and on the Sunday resurrection. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers and our mothers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and the most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned we have separated ourselves from God through our thoughts, through our words, and through our deeds. All through our most grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, awaken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayers, and let our cry come unto Thee. And during this Easter tide, we will pray the, the collect for Easter for Easter Day. If I can just find it here, I thought I had it marked. There it is. This is a call like I, I think we should hold it close to us. It is, um, there's a completeness. There is a, a theological, spiritual completeness uh, in it that's, that's worthy of our attention. Let us pray. This is on page 182. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, has overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life. We humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. I draw your, your attention um, 
that collect is one complete sentence. And the dividing point, or the mirroring point, is there's a, there's a, a colon in it. Punctuation, uh, Cramner, who would have, cons who would have uh, composed, who did compose all of these collects, um, would not be using his punctuation casually. He would be, he would be using it to shape the very depth um, and, and, and specific message that he wanted to get through. Uh, and now we move back to uh, 726, the Collect for Protection. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, this place wherever we are, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell therein, herein, to preserve us in peace, and may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness, and from the sons of light, from the sons and the daughters of light, banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Working towards inclusive language is, is very important. And we continue. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the chances and the changes of this fleeting world may repose, may rest upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay down in peace and we will take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve us. Amen. Sleep well this night, and God bless.